I started thinking about adding uh, atrial fibrillation treatment to my cardiac surgery cases on two different instances. Once I remember when I was seeing a patient in clinic when I was doing my training and she said to me, hey, can you do anything about this AFib that I have too when you're gonna fix my valve? And I said, oh, you know, yeah, we can, we can do something. And then I remember reading a uh, paper in one of our surgical journals that showed an improved survival if you treat atrial fibrillation undergoing other forms of cardiac surgery like a bypass procedure. And there was an improved survival compared to if you didn't treat AFib. So that really got me thinking. Knowing a few people that are miserable with atrial fibrillation, I really developed a passion for it. And it's been an evolution for me because as I learned more about it through the course of my career, um, I really did a deep dive and learned more about the anatomy of the heart and the areas that we surgically treat and ablate. Not surprisingly, that has actually led to improved results. When I looked at the data in our state and saw that there was a survival benefit if you treated atrial fibrillation at the time of patients undergoing mitral valve surgery, as my practice evolved and my results improved, which are now hovering in the high 80s, low 90s, what was most um, important to me was to see how the patient responded and when you get them out of atrial fibrillation they are so relieved that they don't have to take anticoagulation if I can get them off that and overall I've noted a remarkable improvement in overall how they feel. One of the first questions they asked me is like hey doc can I get off the blood thinners and I said you know I can't guarantee it but I'm gonna do my darndest to make it happen just to see that smile on their face that there is that hope that they can get off the anticoagulation which otherwise they've told they're gonna be on for the rest of their life to me is incredibly rewarding.